is our multi-purpose room. So if you were here yesterday, this was full of students. Uh, because what I'm trying to do is, you know, when we have the students, we go through the wall, but I don't get a chance to go detail into anyone on the wall or any, any history. So we're starting on Saturdays to bring students uh, here to do in-depth learning. So. I'm still in the fundraising mode because I, I, as you can see, I still need tiles and even windows. But all of this screening, all of the, a lot of the classroom, plumbing, bathrooms, electricals, all of that is done. So I'm really down to, and these windows are my problem on this side because it lets the dirt in. When I get these windows around, tile these floors, I'm in pretty good shape. I can I'll make, make sure I'll send you some pictures of the last few days, and we've had a lot of students here. We had probably, I had like three or four groups in here just in the last three days. So uh, that's the idea. So we'll be showing videos, we'll be uh, teaching detailed history, we're gonna have some vocational stuff in the back there, have a chemistry lab back here, we'll have a electronics lab, I already have a couple of people committed to uh, help us put that in when it's ready, and, and so, we're getting there. The bottom is the same way, except for I just have a lot of wood and stuff stored there, so I didn't want to have to go through all that. So this is where we're working with two floors of this, for the, mainly for the students. We'll have Saturday mornings, we'll have the students. Saturday afternoons, we'll have the community. Af afternoon going into the evening. And then we'll discuss and do whatever the community wants to do. We had a thing in Los Angeles called the Talking Drum, where every Friday night we have different people come in and talk about anything of concern to the African community, history, sometimes it was current affairs, sometimes it was some cultural things, sometimes even music, just depends on, you know, what, what's on tap. So that's what we're going to be, hopefully next time you come, um, like I said, this is already operational for my primary motive, which is to get the youngsters up here and talk, have a place to hold them and talk. Because you can't really do it at the restaurant, that little lower level, but that interferes with the restaurant. So this is... that a tile? Well, that's what I'm talking about. I have oh, to okay. tile it, I have to do windows. Doors, too, I'm not so worried about the doors, except for the front one, you know. But these in between, it's not a big deal right away. But to have them in there, but the windows will keep the dust out. And of course, the tiles is just to make the place nice. And uh, all the electrical stuff is done, we just have to put the you know, put the sockets and the boxes and everything on. So that's what we're doing, and uh, hopefully um, you can, if, if you want to chip in anywhere, you can. You uh, where's the donation box up there? The upstairs is, uh, I'm going to show you guys, if you feel like it, I'm going to take you to the top so sure. you can see what's really going to be the blast off. Okay. I'm not going into because there's some oh, stuff so going on in here. Uh huh. So you got three floors and a rooftop. And some gotcha. Potential, some potential residential stuff, so I'm not going to go in there right now. We got a lot. But the main two floors are primarily the library the itself. Main two floors are the, yeah, the library and the multi purpose center. And then the rooftop is just a rooftop. <coughs> Perfect for bigger reception gathering. And an incredible view of New Ningo and Prom Prom. Yes. Wow. Now once, uh, so the people who are worried about, uh, when I lose, think about someone might block my view, they won't be able to block this one. Wow, this is lovely. Oh my God, no. 
Nice. Look a nice bar right here. Yeah, see, yeah, rooftop bar. There you talking about it. My man already is reading my mind. That's how we do it, family. <laughs> yeah, you see. Yeah, I got man. some. That's all right. Have a nice. Get a little jazz up. I mean, you can see the entire town. <laughs> now, what, what you were saying, it was none of this was here. None of, <coughs> nothing you see was here when I came here. Okay. Nothing. Okay. So you can see how in five years from now, It'll be much tighter than this. So Jerry, what you just explained is what I told people when I took them out to a land called Black Star Pan-African Community. They was like, you got us out here in a jungle. And I was like, yeah, that's how it starts. And we're gonna build from there on and you clear <coughs> land, you next you know you're building. So family, uh, you know, within like, I remember coming here the first time in 2000, I wanna say two, yeah, 2008. Uh, so that's been, uh, you know, literally, you know, 15 years. And so, uh, I honestly do not remember almost any of these buildings. And there were a few buildings, I do remember. There were a few. But especially on this property, the only thing that was here was the house at the very front and nothing else. So you're talking about um, within a period of 15 years, you did all of this. So Jerry, you're gonna put a casting on top of the tank up here. Uh, on top of the stairs right here. I'm, I'm thinking of that or um, actually having this. We have some little reinforced areas there for actually a bigger tank. So I may put a platform for But I like your idea because it doesn't need any, you any of space. Skates, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is a man with all the great ideas, man. <laughs> what you can do from here, put your round column here and put a flat platform where you can use it as a header so people can stand around if you have any entertainment here. Yeah, right? we've been thinking of that. And well, we have a lot of different ideas and, and, and also how to make sure part of it we can shade maybe some rollout type thing different ideas but but the main thing was to get this structure in place because the screen and the portis top floor and cement and all of the rebar and everything goes in here that was uh that was serious we like having a uh, uh having our, our this is nice. This is, I like the idea. I like the idea. I just say you just take a one day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. We had a lot of help. A lot of help along the way. So, so how, how far? How far from here does Prom Prom extend? The, the, the okay. City well, of, yeah. well, I'm in Ningo. This, this okay. next road, which you're looking at right there, is Prom Prom. This, this, this road right, right here. Prom? No, I'm in Ningo. This is New Ningo. If you go across the street, it's yeah, also separated Prom by that main road right there. Well, if you go to cross, it's prom prom, so it kind of goes a stagger, like this, uh -huh. like this oh. and then like that, and all of that will be Ningo. Oh, so Jaja, um, so Jaja, I think Jaja is still on prom prom. I'm about to where Jaja is, I think maybe Ningo, and then it starts new Ningo. But on this side of the road, it starts way way back here. Yeah, I love the these homes that are coming yeah, up back here. It's beautiful. Home. Yeah, it's oh, uh, a lot is coming up back yeah. here. So the it's, question, it's, the other question I asked. When, when everything is up and running, does the, 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 the who, who maintain the roads? You, everybody have to come together to build well, the road a, or well, to... That's a, that's a good point. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we try to put our money together to do some things. I mean, at the end, is it all supposed to be government roads, you know? But, okay. But, you know, everyone, if you wait, you, you'll wait a long time. <laughs> it just, but it just, it, it just depends on the priorities though, you know, and it's a political thing too. So sometimes, you know, eventually they get to it. In fact, there's a road going through Prom Prom that, that's a shortcut and it looks like they're finally getting ready, government I'm saying, to go ahead and they're starting to grade that road and do something, which would just be a tremendous boon for us trying to get to Tema say without going all the way back around. So you know these things, you know they happen slow, but you know Ghana is expanding in so many directions. Sure you know you can't expect everyone to get it all at once. But but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. I have confidence in everyone involved. With the time, the contractors, time and, and the contractors and the masons and those people super super busy. They just jump from one side to yeah, one side. Yeah, because There's business is flowing. so much construction. Yeah, it should be it should be a good business. Yeah, all of the sites like it's for young people for... starting construction mm -hmm. all over. Yeah. yeah, and then here you know we don't get a mortgage to just buy the but house. Yes. You know people pay as they go. So, so just the, that's why I say when they talk about wealth, if you look around here, 
all of these Ghanaians or, who, or Nigerians or Africans or African, they all own what you see because yeah. they built it slowly. So people say, oh, you know, these half built homes, but they're, they're building it as they get the money. And then when they move in there, that's it. Whereas we're that. riding around in all of these fancy American communities and yeah. You know, we're we're still Living twenty we're still coast. we're still twenty years <laughs> away from owning the thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and say nothing of that second that we took, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um I, I like that part of it because you know, that interest is killing you anyway. That's so true. And what a lot of people do, and a smart thing, is they build it's gonna like it's gonna be two level. They build the first level and they actually move in. Yes. While they That's slowly build did. the second My level. Dad, yeah. And That's then they're they're in good shape. So you're building on the top, and then by the yes. time you're done, you're done. In the U.S., they wouldn't let you live in the There you go, family. Great advice. Code violation. Code violation, a bunch of other stuff. Regulations. So that's perfect, Jerry. Yeah. Brother? No, not in America. In the country, they do that. So now, where sense. do the people of Grand Prem work? And is there a city or this is it? Well, this is uh, like between, this is actually between the village of Prom Prom and between the village of New Ningo. Oh. So all of this is, is between two villages. Okay. We, we got a lot of residential coming up, as you can see over there, between the villages and, of course, along the coast. And so. Well, some of everything. A lot of the Ghanaians are still working, you know. And like I said, a lot of them have that first level done, and they're still working. And they're building the second one. A lot of people are out of the country, and they're sending their money down, building, and hoping to get folks that you know somebody doesn't rip them off, like yeah. they normally do. <laughs> but not always. Not always. A lot of people get it done and get it done right. Yeah, and it seems like it's getting done. Oh, and it's, you see, it's coming up. Yes, brother. So let me uh, yeah, let, right. let's uh, get everybody back yeah, to the let's, bus. Let's uh, get back down in the park, <laughs> ancestral wall part of it. From the rooftop to the third floor. Right. Yeah. So what we have been raising uh, funds for was the was these two rooms. And then we'll, we'll finish with some of these things here. Second floor. And then this, and then the first floor, which is basically the same layout, except we just got a lot of stuff. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> All right, so family, once again, this is the library at the African ancestral wall with the 90 plus portraits of our African ancestors. As you can see, this uh, beautiful strip along. There you go, family. So, want to get you a nice, clean view. So, that is three floors plus a rooftop of the library. Uh, that um, I've seen this built from the foundation up, just like uh, everything that you see here. So, show our brother uh, Jerry Johnson here some love and support. Uh, you can uh, make donations or make financial contributions, and they will put it to work and build that incredible library. They'll be there for the. Um, for educational reasons for our children. So 
Uh, we're learning to put our energy together and build the institutions and build the foundations that we need to build so we can evolve as a people. So we appreciate every one that's coming through and supporting and showing love. And the journey continues. Yeah, because sometimes you have a living hand to do everything. All right, y'all, I'll catch everybody back on the bus. And family, this is a part that no matter what uh, video we shoot, uh, you're going to always see this wall. And we have came by here and done full length presentations of this uh, entire wall over the period of time, uh, over the last uh, five plus years. So. We have some of our legends there. That is actually the end of the wall itself. And then once, once that wall ends, you see some blank space and then you turn. And what you see is this incredible big building that will be the library. And then the beautiful energy of our African ancestors. And this is the end of our tour here. And uh, we are heading back to East Lagon. And family, let's keep the energy strong and the journey continues.